Welcome back to day two. If you notice again today, we are working on our Pythagorean theorem again. But in this virtual lesson, notice that there is now a coordinate plane. So what we're actually trying to find is the distance between these two points. Okay, so right now we are given an actual situation. So the towns of Melvin and Hemsley are shown on the map. So this right here. If the distance between the grid lines represents one kilometer, what is the distance between the two towns? Okay, so as we notice up here, we are trying to find the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is you're gonna go ahead and connect those two points. Okay, so you can't just count these units because notice they're not full actual units. So instead, we're gonna create a right triangle. Okay, so you go until you go down and over until these two meet, and that will create that right triangle that we're looking for. Okay, now if for any reason you decide to draw it up here, remember um, it will equal the exact same thing. All right, so now from here, we actually are going to have to count those units. That will tell us what our legs are. Okay, because again, we are looking for the hypotenuse. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and count these. Remember, you do not count just the lines. So I'm gonna count uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this side length is five units. All right, so now this side length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this side length is seven units. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the work over here. And again, this follows the document that you have. All right, so over here, we're first gonna write out the actual formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so now we need to identify what those missing sides are. Now again, we're finding the hypotenuse, so that means that what we don't know is our c value. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a, so that's five. I'm gonna make this B, and that's seven. All right, so now these are known values, this is our unknown, so we're gonna plug in what we do know into our formula. So A, which is five, so I'd have five squared. B, which is seven, so then seven squared. Now from here, our next step is to actually go ahead and square these numbers, and you are welcome to use a calculator. So five squared means five times five, which is 25. 7 squared means 7 times 7, which is 49, equals c squared. All right, so then I'm going to add these two values together, which I'm going to get 74 equals, and then I bring down what I don't know, c squared. All right, so now from here, remember our last step, we're always going to find that square root. Okay, so this goes away here, cancels that out. So then square root of 74, now you can use your calculator. Um, remember that you are gonna round to that nearest tenth. So this is gonna be approximately 8.6. And remember we do have to label it, so 8.6 kilometers is approximately C. Okay, so I'm gonna write that over here just so it looks a little bit more neat. So 8.6 kilometers that is going to be your missing value. All right, so then if you were to actually answer this as a um, question, as a statement, you would say that the distance between Melvin and Hemsley is approximately 8.6 kilometers. All right, so on that same page, you do have a couple examples. Now these are not given as a situation, they're just given on a coordinate plane but you do the exact same process. You connect those points and create those right triangles. All right, thank you so much for your hard work and your attention. Um, go ahead and work through those examples. And just like the other slides, notice right here, um, you have the math games, that's gonna give you just extra practice, and then the Khan Academy video if you have any extra questions. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for listening.